Good morning, Britain. It's just gone six o'clock. Welcome to the programme. Our main news this morning, hundreds of family members and friends have gathered for a ceremony to remember those killed in Hamas's deadly attack at the site since the Holocaust, of course. This morning, that horror of the incursion into Israel from tourists, seemingly unmonitored, unstopped, as they then swept through where young people the ages of our children, music, and the company of their friends, and then going into the kibbutz and the horror of the devastation wreaked. And since then, tens of thousands dead in Gaza. And this morning, more strikes. And you just, in your heart, think, what really happened to get rid of Sir Keir Stum as chief <coughs> of staff? I what? mean, where... Oh, did they ever have a honeymoon period, no. this government? If we'd had 97 hostage attacks in the last year in Britain... To... ...developments, as, you know, they'd just come to the end of this incredible yeah. collective experience, just young people in their yeah, yeah. Just enjoying themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Does... the Hamas terrorists descend. That was... Toppled Sue Gray, who had the Nova Music Festival in Israel exactly one year on. Around 1,200 people were killed, 251 taken hostage in that attack. More than 41,000 Palestinians have since died in Gaza in Israel's retaliation. Prime Minister Sir Keir Starmer used today's anniversary to say the UK must stand with the Jewish community as he reiterated calls for a ceasefire. Meanwhile, the mother of the only British Israeli hostage still being held by Hamas in Gaza has asked why the UK is not fighting every moment to secure her release. Our chief correspondent, Richard Gates. Well, the Prime Minister, Sir Keir Starmer, says we must unequivocally stand with the Jewish community and has reiterated his calls for a ceasefire. Of course, this is uh, the deadliest day in Jewish history. Um, and since what happened exactly one year ago, Gaza, those terror through a music festival, just enjoying... Mm transmit from families that the terror there where does this end it's true i mean the um the devastation in gaza over the last year tens of thousands of deaths um uh, appalling mm. i mean this is actually uh, individuals help. daughters mm. sons hated from those loved ones i mean and a year on you do i mean well um let us know um how your thoughts and uh, feelings have changed in the past year um, and your response today, exactly a year on to what is happening in the Middle East. That is our main news. We're going to discuss that further. With the Daily Mail's Andrew Pearce and the Mirror's Kevin Maguire, who are back, I think, in the studio. Good. This morning. Haven't it's been better. On, um, on a tour of the conferences. And of course, uh, you know, there are a big domestic political world. So Very we'll much. discuss those in a few minutes. First, though, here's Charlotte.